Get some independent thinking going. There you go, Greg. I just sent you a request, Greg. There you go. I'm in here. The Wi-Fi is shit. Look, man. we gonna make it do what it do. I, I can see, I can, see, I can see you, buddy. How you doing over there? I'm man? chilling. What's going on? Ain't shit, man. You know I had to bother you real fast because I got this thing I'm doing called independent thinking, where I'm really just tapping in with my with my friends, creators around the world, just sharing insight with um, you know, inspiring jewelers, uh, fucking artists. Producers, A and R's, wrestlers. Hey, can you guys shut the fuck up? I'm on live with Smoke Dizzy. What the fuck? Fuck your lives. So you know, I have to tap in with you because we speak a lot. You're, you're, you're a fucking legend in your own right. Because I feel like it's like errors when it even comes to like jewelers. You feel me? Like it was. The, it, we had the Jacob era, and I'm talking about New York. Right, right, right. Era. We had the David Kling era. You feel me? And I feel like we're on. I mean, we had the Aviani era, and we. But they're 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 all legends. They're they all, all legends. they all have yeah. They all have skin in the game. Right, and here's where you fit in because you're a legend also, and we're Thank in the you. Unit era. Because I feel like you know, when when people want uh, clarity and people want good shit, quality, quality, we come to you because you're like I'm the diamond guy, smoke. This is what I do. Right. But yo, when did you get into jewelry? Like, when when did you realize that that was? Going to I got into it literally. I'm I'm ten years in. This year was ten years in. Two thousand. Uh, it was nineteen twenty. Go nine nineteen going into twenty was me coming in for ten years. That's crazy. Was that something that you was always into? Like, nah. I got into the game. My my mom begged me to go work for some family people. I didn't want to do jewelry. I didn't know anything about jewelry. I didn't like jewelry like that, you know. Um, I ended up there hating the shit. <laughs> and Why I, just realized, I realized I was good with people. And then, you know, I just started creating my own pieces and then it, it took off from there. Right, right. And that's why I said creator and not jeweler because the art is art to your shit. You feel me? It's intricate. Like, my Hulk Hogan piece is the piece that... Fire. But, like, you know... I could only go to you for that because that's not something that I could get duplicated somewhere else. When did you realize that signature jewelry was something that you wanted to get into? I, I just, I always like creating, you know, like, sci it's like a science project, you know? You get to watch it from beginning to end and watch it come to life. It's, it's, it's interesting. Right. You know what I mean? It becomes like, it, it starts off on a, as an idea, then we put it to the paper and then it's like, you get to watch the steps. It's fun. Right, 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 right. And Fuck. to see somebody, wear, and to see, to see you wear it is, is wild. Yeah, I mean, shit. Hulk Hogan seen my shit, so that, that was exciting for me. So, you know He was I mean? my favorite wrestler growing up. Yeah, and, mine, and mine's too, so that, that was ill. Um, who was the first celebrity that came to come fuck with you? Floyd. Floyd. I was just with him the other day. I, I bumped into him. I was thanking him the other day. We just put the video together. We just put it out. I was um, I was thanking him because he helped me out tremendously in my career. And we didn't start off on a good note when I when I when I first met him. Mm. He came in. I was such a fan. He came in, and there was a dude that worked be there before me. I was new, and the people I was working for at the time, they stepped away the first time they left me in the booth alone. Oh. Floyd, Floyd walks in, and he's like, yo, where's my mans? Where's my other mans at? I was like, uh, uh, what? I didn't even know how to deal with a guy like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my first time being left alone, and then Floyd walks in. And, and I don't even know, like, I can't get in touch with the fucking owner. I don't know what's going on. It just, it was, it was wild. But uh, I, 
I was such a fan. And I was upset when I met him the first time. Oh. Because he didn't fuck with me like that. I was upset. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. He right. was the other guy. Right. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not talking. I'm like, you know what? I'm not talking to this guy anymore. That, that He just broke my heart. I'm done with this shit. Next time he came in, he showed me super love. And then we just started. We, just, we built from there. And he's helped me out so much in my career, man. Like, tremendously. I say it all the time. I can't say it enough. That's hard. That you know, he, oh, he, he was the one that was always telling me to go on my own, like, do your own thing. Like, you don't need anybody. You can, you can do it. Like, he was always, like, he, oh, he was always in my ear with that shit. So um, I, I, I thank him for that. That's a hell of a first claim to yeah. have. But it may well be the greatest ever be your first claim. But that's what kept, but honestly, that's what kept me there. It, was, it wasn't really, like, the jewelry shit, shit was cool. But then, like, it was, it was people like Floyd and 50 would walk in, Fab would walk in. And it's like, these are, like, people that I listened to growing up listening to this shit with music. You know right. what I mean? And then, and then it's like they're walking in. I'm like, this is the place I need to be. And my networking started getting crazy. That's crazy. How important is branding in, in, I, in the jewelry business? I mean, it depends on what you're trying to do. Like, if you're trying to make jewelry and just sell jewelry for the rest of your life. And, and I had a separate suit. So I, you know the Diamond District. Right. There's a, million, there's a million jewelers over there. I was making pieces, and I didn't really know. I didn't really no one really knew what it was like if, if you knew me you knew that it was my piece but you'd, you'd have to be in the industry to understand that right so i was trying to separate myself from everyone early and i wasn't trying to do the you know when jacob the jeweler came out it was jacob and co then everybody jumped on that wave like you know blah 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 and co this is this and co this is this and co everybody's trying to make watches it's like the man did it leave it alone like he hit that spot let him have his lane and i just didn't want to be another you know and co or whatever Right, so right. we started, you know, I, I, I felt like branding was a way to separate. And I mean, you know, you definitely separate yourself from everybody else. Cause when I, you, I try, I always try to go left. Even how to put in, in, in pieces. It's like, this is signature. We know this. Right, is but a lot of people don't understand that, right? You see a bunch of, you know, you see jewelry and then a bunch of diamonds and like you, a lot of people can't see that on the, on the phone and through Instagram and stuff like that and the actual craftsmanship, right? Right. You look at a piece on, on the phone and they both look great. Right. But when, you, when you actually feel them, the hollowness, the cheapness, it's just, you know what I mean? Like I would never want my work out there like that. Right, right, right. So right. a lot of people don't understand. They come to me and they ask, well, like, I'm expensive. I'm expensive, but I have an expensive team. So it's like I have to pay top dollar for my team to just make sure everything is right. Right, 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 right. Now you know, um, I was I, I watched this movie in the theater just because I knew you was in it. But how was it working on Uncut Gems and having that scene? There? Like, how how parallel is it to what to to the actual Diamond District? It's exactly what you see. That's what it was. That's crazy. There's like ten people like that, if not more, on the block that do that kind of shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, right, so before I let you go, because I know, you know what I mean, you got the argument later. Um, some advice for celebrities, not just rappers, because everybody buys jewelry, right? Like, you know, we look at it as an investment because, you know, the shit goes up and down. And obviously, you know, everybody wants to look good. But what is some advice you can give to anybody buying jewelry that that uses it as an investment i think the only way it's an investment is if you're a, an artist and it's it's you know you, you go places and, and you're getting recognition because of, oh there goes that dude with that chain like they they recognize you because of the chain it's just it's 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 attention jewelry is definitely not an investment especially custom pieces once you make something custom unless you know somebody who wants that piece it's worthless not yeah. worthless but you're not getting the money that you spent on it and a lot of people don't understand that you know what I mean? I'll be the first to say, I don't want it back. When I make it, I'm not buying it back. I don't need it back. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> it's like a car, right? You get a nice car. You, you, you know it's, it's not going to be worth shit when you bring it back, but it looks good and you feel good in it. So it's, it's a feel-good right. thing. I feel good when I wear jewelry. Right, same. I feel nice. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you're the man, brother. I just, you know, it, it was quick, but I, I needed I needed your voice to be heard. Because I appreciate of the conversation you need to be had, and I appreciate you for taking your time out to come fuck with me on this. And I can't wait till it's over because I'm coming back to the office. So you getting some? You getting some furniture? I got some furniture. <laughs> I, need to get. I got some furniture I need to get. And 
we gotta start Greg's universe because your office is a fucking in itself. All right, we're working on it. I, I got I got a bunch of things in the a bunch of things in play. This whole this whole quarantine shit fucked me up, but in a good way. In a good way. Us, I was we, mad at first, and now I'm kind of enjoying it. I hope this shit doesn't really. I hope it doesn't end. Honestly, we figured it out. You know what I mean? We'll never we'll never let anything cripple our creativity. So it worked itself out. Absolutely. Up. My brother, well, yo, I'll tap in with you later on, see what you're doing. All right, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Greg, you and y'all. Shout out to Joe. I mean, shout out to Ed. Shout out to Rachel. Shout out to Jason. But, yo, a little independent thinking, you know what I mean, real fast. A couple gems, literally. And um, I'll be back in a second.